kind of team? Um, this is the first time that uh, you have visited a team at the training ground. What are your first impressions? Um, the first impression is that the phobia boys are going <laughs> to places. Because for any club to be successful, you need an infrastructure. And we've got the grounds. Um, and the plans that are set for the grounds means that as we build the team, the team can only be successful. Looking at the squad that I've just been introduced to, I know you have met the technical people already, but then this is the first time you've seen these players. Are you impressed with the kind of quality that we have in the squad? It's always very difficult to compare a team um, after they've won the match. But you can only win matches that are put in front of you. And some of the technical abilities that they've shown on the pitch and also the way the formation was, it gives me great hope that we've got a team that can go far. Um, having said that, I haven't, I'm not going to sit here and say that I guarantee we are going to win this or that. What I have assured the playing body is that we in the office are going to do everything possible to make sure that their job becomes easier so they can be successful. Yes, um, you come in to take, in, to take the place of uh, Mr. Nuna. Who is Mr. Frederick Moore? <laughs> That's a that's an very interesting question. Um, one of the things what I call myself results orientated, and the reason why I say that is that I'm passionate about everywhere I've been and the results that I'm able and the legacy I'm able to leave behind, uh, and that probably sums me up um, in terms of what I look for in any organisation that I've worked in. The most important thing is to make an impact and by making an impact leave a legacy and I'm quite confident that by the end of the 12 months of me being here there will be great legacy not for me to talk about but for other people to mention. Yes, you did speak about uh, leaving a good legacy mm. to the ordinary supporter. After some years to come from today, what kind of legacy should the Hasselhoff supporter expect to see? Uh, very, very soon, there are a number of things that I'm going to be putting in place. There is a, a business plan that we are working to. There is also a strategic document and an operational plan that I want to implement. And the key aspect of it is to set targets for every area of the work that we do so that we can have clarity. Because a football, um, football is a team game. So I need to work with a technical team to understand where they think they are, to be able to see where we can take it. I need to work with the office team and to understand where they are so that we can move forward. But at the end of the day, because it's a team game, I need to bring the team together to make sure that the club is successful. If you, if um, to talk about legacy, I'll say to the Phobian boys and girls, you wait to 12 months and then you see the legacy yourself.